here's a little trick for you. The reason why you don't need to play Revival to dispel Karma, one, is and you could just dispel its magic. You could dispel it. But two, because it's magic, you can actually diffuse magic the dot back to the Windwalker. So in this situation, what I would have done, I'm not even kidding, this is what I would have done. I would have Touch of Death into this Karma, make the dot huge, and then diffuse magic it back to the Windwalker. And that's a little trick for you right there. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you my favorite videos to make, and that is Monk Monday number 139. Thank you for anyone who has submitted the gameplay. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it, I go through everything, every single thing that your team has done. Twos, threes, RWGs, solo shuffle, BG Blitz, I've done Mythic Plus, I've done some raiding, I've done Mistweaver and Windwalker. So any MMR, any Keystone level, anything, it doesn't matter, no one's going to judge you here. Nothing like that at all. One of the best ways to, to improve especially at this game is to just record your gameplay and watch it back so if you are you know too anxious or too nervous to submit any gameplay that's fine i would still highly encourage you to record your gameplay and watch it because i promise you speaking from someone that it has helped me a lot uh it, it will help you so much all right we have three games today from mokdar and they send their email, the longest, uh, long time youtube sub big fan i appreciate that so much uh, i'm super hard stuck 1600 Please help. <laughs> you are my only hope. Here are some two games from LFG. Okay, I got you. Uh, PS uh, versus the Windwalker team. I picked Revival to remove Karma. Not sure if it works though. Uh, it does work, but it's it's really not worth it. To, just for just to get rid of Karma, or like to spell it out. It's really not worth it. You can I can actually show you a trick. Um, especially if they Karma you, I can show you. But best regards. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let me take a look at the army real quick. Let's. I, this is actually a really good idea. If anyone has anyone submits gameplay and they submit their armory, like I'll I'll go through it. Um, I I love I love min max and gear. I freaking love it. 181 mastery, 10 percent. Yeah, this is good. 20 percent verse without PvP being PvP is is pretty good. So let me see. We are playing two set on the shoulders and the gloves, which is really good. Crafted belt. Uh, Vendor legs are good. A lot of verse there. Forge with Monger's Boots is good too. High verse, low haste is perfect. We're playing verse mastery, verse mastery. Hopefully a haste verse over here is good. Um, there. Oh, okay, we're playing. Wait, what are we playing? What's what's our? Oh, okay, we're playing Dust Thread. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there should be an Algari. It should be here. Yeah, we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Dust Thread is really good. I like Dust Thread a lot. I don't care what anyone else says i have moved all of my misweavers from energy redistribution beacon to uh double dust thread i mean 1500 verse being above 80 percent health i think it is really good um so this is good we got precog yeah no your gear looks solid no yeah it's fully enchanted we got two four we got fully gemmed yeah your your um your gear looks good yeah i got i got no issues with that all right, let's pick a game. Let's, let's get into the gameplay. Let's see, we got a um, hook point here. So we're playing Mistweaver, Rep Pally. Now, to be fair, Mistweaver, Rep Pally probably isn't the best comp to play. I actually just recently played this with uh, Level in. So I do have some experience playing this comp. I would highly recommend, well, you, don't don't get ahead of ourselves, but Song of Chi-Gi is pretty good. But against this, this is this is actually, um, this is okay. All right, let's take a look at the talents here. Okay, we're hybrid. All right, we're playing hybrid. That's good. Um, Zen focus is actually decent because you're playing against Resto Shaman, who has a kick. You're playing against Unholy Decay that has kick, grip, and pet kick. So it's like four ways to interrupt you. So Zen focus isn't bad. Grapple weapon's really good too. I would actually drop Eminence for disarm because I feel like Unholy Decays. Feel like Unholy Decays aren't really, you know, gonna kill you. But we are playing hybrid, so. We're not gonna be casting as much as as what we normally be. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, port down. Let's get our statue up. Statues up. Port down. Perfect. Got our new missed out. That's really good. Now you can't play like this when you're playing the hybrid build, and it's actually really good at playing hybrid versus unholy DK because they have so many minions. So this is good. Push in. Good. We got a kick. Kick the pets. Thunder focus D. Kick. Perfect. Yeah, whenever with the hybrid build, what has helped me improve at it a lot is always pair your kick with Thunder Focus T at all times. Always, always, always. Uh, that way you get more kicks. 
get disoriented here, but you're fine. You're fine. You're hexed. Hopefully the DK. Yep, DK breaks it. Perfect. We're looking for a second kick. Good. I would actually, I'm not going to lie one sec. Before, where's our Thunder Focus? See, good. What, uh, there it is right there. There it is right there. Okay. So before you start kicking, I would highly recommend using this enveloping mist right here. You so you press Thunder Focus T and your enveloping mist right now is instant. So what envelop mist does is well, there's a few reasons why you want to do it. The first thing is if you you're playing you're playing hybrid build, so you're playing rising mist, and what rising mist does is it will heal whoever has the hots on them and then extend those hots that hot duration. So for envelop mist and renewing mist, whenever you use your rushing wind kick. So what I'm trying to say is before you kick, it's really good you got the Renewing Mist out. I can see the Chi Harmony Weak Aura. Perfect. I would also throw an Envelope Mist out on your Red Pally or whoever the DK is hitting because then you'll get 40% more healing from Envelope Mist because that's just a passive they have. And then you can also extend that Envelope Mist hot. So you get the Instant Envelope Mist here. So you don't, it doesn't even, you know, you don't need to cast or anything. Just, you know, Envelope Mist. And then kick is what I would do because then you get that extra healing. But I see that we kick, we disarm the DK, which is good. Really, really good. Life Cocoon probably didn't have to. Uh, definitely didn't have to because the Rep Pally. Let me see. Rep Pally still has like buttons here. And then you also have another kick coming up. And we also have Instant Velvet Mist. And then we also have a Vivacious Vivification right here. Don't underestimate Vivacious. Um, it is it is so good, especially when you have all your modifiers, right? So if you have Chi Harmony, and you have your Envelope Mist, and if you're playing the the Zen Spheres, which is ten percent, fifteen percent more healing, that's like forty percent plus twenty five, sixty five, plus what is it, eighty percent more healing if you have all your modifiers, and then you instant vivify, and that does twenty percent more healing. So don't underestimate the how strong the instant vivify you get is, but you you do have another kick. You have one kick available. You also have an instant velping mist, and then you also have an instant vivify. So I don't think you need to life cocoon here. It is twos though. It's a little bit slower, so you can probably you're probably fine just holding. Um, static field totem rooted good. Tigers lost on you good. Um, yeah, you actually can't kill when you're playing hybrid build. You actually can't kill totems uh, with rising sun kick. This is fine. Yeah, send your kicks into all the the pets is what you want to do. Get kicked it, again. This is fine. This is fine. You still have um, a renew uh, vivify here, which uh, I think this is vivacious right here. Um, soothing mist, throwing envelop mist on them, renewing mist. Yeah, throw an envelop mist on them as much as you can. Whenever before you kick, no matter what, always try to uh, throw an envelop mist out. In cap here, good, good, really good. We're, do we have a sweep for the uh, yes, good, good, good. If we could disarm off this, if we have it, all right, that's NS ascendance from the shaman. Good kicks here. Um, we're doing miss, good start casting. We have Chi back up. Throw, I would always make sure you throw an envelope mist out whenever you get any like free time. Always try to envelop your mist. Oh, interesting. We're playing Crackle too. Let me see our town build here, real quick. Oh, we're playing Crackle. Okay. So what town are we dropping then? There should be... Let me see. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty good. Crackle's okay. I would also play uh, Restoral here as well. I think Restoral's really good. Um, versus DKs. But that's fine. So we get... Uh, Brett uses buttons here. Hex on you. I think we need to in-cap more too. Oh no, he's off in cap. Okay, good, good, good. Hex, good. DK should break this. We have dots on us. This is good. Lasso on the rep alley. That's fine. Good. Yep, just keep kicking. Keep renewing mist. Envelop mist. Good. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. Whenever you think about kicking, always try to make sure you use renewing mist, envelop mist. Always. But we're kicking. This is good. We're kicking into pets, which is fantastic. We have an in cap really soon. Hodge. What you kind of want to coordinate is... If you can get a Hodge on the, the DPS, try to in-cap the healer is kind of what you want to do. It's just it's just really good setup. Nice in-cap. I think it was slightly late on that healing surge, but that's okay. Kick here. Good. We have bubble still. Silence on you. We could sank this. Oh, please sank this. Oh. Did we have to trinket for that? I'm trying to see where a trinket is. Blinded here. Trying to see. 
You could also, uh, you could actually kick while you silence too, by the way. Right here. So, you could also sweep. So, I know it's scary, but your Wrath Pedley had Lay, Spell Bop, Sank for the silence, Bubble, and then you you also had Leg Sweep for the DK, and I'm pretty sure the DK just IBF'd as well. I'm like 99% sure uh, he IBF'd. So, you could sweep this DK full, and hopefully that would buy enough time for maybe your rep pally to react with a lay or something or to heal honestly right because your your legs your um rushing wind kick could heal like uh quite amount quite a big amount um trink into hex we could kick too we also have two crackles as well this is why i always play zen focus t like zen focus t is so good um so i would i would have you notice how like you haven't ported like at all this game. Not your not your fault, but you haven't had to port. So I would say, especially in twos, like twos. Yeah, there's some people that will do insane damage, but for the most part, I would just play drop eminence and go with um, Zen Focus T, and then the disarm is really good here, and that way you can have Zen Focus T and not be afraid to cast when you have Thunder Focus T up. Um, but we're looking for an in cap. We have seven seconds on in cap, which is really good, so we can in cap. Your lasso, that should be okay. Instant Vivify right now. We also have Crackles. We just used one. Good. Good. Get a Renewing Mist. Chigi here. Okay. Kick. Good. We have two stacks of Chigi. We're looking for one more stack for an Instant Velvet Mist here. Good. All right. We have an Instant Velvet Mist now because we have three stacks of uh, Chigi right here. So what I would recommend is to throw that Envelop Mist out on your Rep Alley because... Again, there's Mistweavers have so many modifiers. When you have all of them up, your healing is insane. So you get your Chi Harmony for Renewing Mist. Enveloping Mist by itself makes the target take 40% more healing from you. And then with Chi G up, you get the Enveloping Breath, which does a 10% more healing from you. So that's just some. If you just throw an Envelop Mist on the Red Pally right now, they're taking 50% more healing from you. And that, that's obviously insane. So. Throwing Vault Mist on, on the Rep Pally here uh, would be massive because we're also wasting stacks of, of our Chi G to get more. There we go. Good, good. All right. A lot of healing now on your rat. Good into a kick. And those hots get extended from Rising Mist. Rop out of AMC is really good. We have in cap as well. I'd probably say if we get a Hodge, if are we all tracking DRs by chance? If you could track DRs, that would probably be pretty good. I don't think the Rep Pallies have any in cap DRs. So you could in cap that hex. Oh so close could have incapped this hex we do have bubble and lay though so i have full faith good bubble that's fine we're fine with the silence too hopefully we get sanked we're not getting sanked that's okay that's all right good envelopment mist here though bubbles down we're looking for something what are we looking for in cap on the dk probably should have been a dk on the shaman but that's okay sweep on the dk as well grounding totem yeah this was that that should have been kind of opposite where you in cap the shaman sweep the dk but that's okay lasso on you Maybe we just hex on you as well. Hopefully this breaks the DK. Oh, we get it before the link. We get him before the A. Hey, no, no big deal. Uh, positioning wise, we're kind of uh, we're kind of out of, all over the place here. Uh, the pillar is your friend, even when you're hybrid healing. The the this isn't like full fist weaving. You're hybrid, right? So let's let's um. Well, first of all, we lost our statue at some point during this game. Uh, statue got lost. I don't know where it got lost, but yeah, somewhere around here, statue got lost, and you're losing out on quite a bit of healing from peaceful mending. So it's just a lot. It's just a few little things. There's nothing crazy. Your healing rotation's fine. I would drop Crackle, though. The Crackle talent is not good. I would drop it and put the Secret Infusion. Um, but I would say overall, this isn't terrible. You know, positioning wise, get to a pillar, right? The Shaman got a lot of hexes on you. What I would recommend is you put your port. Where'd you put your port? By, you know, this right here. Whenever your team pushes up or moves around the map, you got to move up with them and you should also move your port and your statue at all times. So move your port from this, this pillar to this pillar. That way, when you get lassoed hex, I mean, the shaman has to cast it, right? Uh, let me see. Lasso into a, into a hex. You just port, right? So keep that in mind. We also had ways to stop this. I'm pretty sure we had, in no, did we have ROP? We had uh, wrapping five. I guess not. All right, I guess we had no way to stop it besides porting. So that's kind of just just keep that in mind. Um, and also we had disarm. If you were like truly scared or you couldn't port, I think we had disarm as well. So just some little things. Um, uh, before you before you kick at all times, 
before you kick, just make sure that you are getting your hots out on your DPS because the rising mist is going to extend those hots, right? Envelop mist, renewing mist. Then you kick because it gives you does more healing from the healing bonuses from Chi Harmony and Velpy Mist. And then it also extends the hots. And so you have more Envelop Mist, which is fantastic. So that's it for that game. I, I think overall that game is, is pretty solid. Thankfully, you guys got the kill before the Spirit Link totem. Um, what do we got going on here? It looks like we're trying to debate if we're going to go cast or not, which that's fine. Oh, we're casting. Awesome. What is this? Outlaw Rogue Disc Priest. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They have a, the, the issue with Outlaw Rogue is they have a, ways to, a lot of ways to stop your crackle. So it's on you to position correctly where you're not close enough. You're far enough away to heal your ret, but you're not, you know, you're not too close because, um, or you're close enough to heal your ret, but not too far because you would just want to make sure you don't get CC'd like crazy from the rogue. Because they could stop your crackles, which is kind of annoying. Um, always play Restore all good. This is good. This is good. Uh, nah, nah. Drop, drop is that focus T here. The, it, twos is different than like shuffle and like threes and, and all that. Uh, I would drop disarm or I would drop Zen focus T for disarm here for sure. If you're positioning correctly, I would I would probably do something like that. Um you could what's going on here? What's you could probably drop this for like Extra expel harm healing as well, if you wanted to. Yeah, you could probably drop that. Not bad though. This is good. All right. Uh, we're gonna hopefully the rep Halley sinks this this game too. Who did he just sank? He just sank himself. Oh my lord. Okay, I think we outranged our port here. Did we? I feel like we did. My mis my misweaver senses are telling me we outrange our port. Yeah, we outrange our port. Never never do that, especially versus a rogue. You know, um, rogues warriors are like the two where ferals, where you really just don't want to outrange your port. Uh, we got a hodge. We're looking for a sweep here. We get a hodge on the disc priest, so we're looking for a sweep on the rogue, and then maybe we can in cap off the hodge. Just extend that CC. Good port. Good 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 good. I would reset your port. And then port again. That way you can get the cooldown reduction from Eminence. Because uh, as of right now, we're losing our skip from reality. And I think our buff is going to go away. Yeah. That's okay. Life Cocoon. That's fine. Uh, we have Disarm. Oh, no. We, we have Zen Focus T. That's right. We're not playing Disarm. Blind on you. I mean, this is fine. Good Disarm. Oh, we are playing Disarm. Okay, good Disarm. Really good. Perfect. Yeah, no, this this is fine. I we definitely get more in caps on the disc priest though, because the kill targets the red or is the um the outlaw rogue. One buff from the from the rogue. Can you shot on the rep pally? Yeah, we just let's just heal. Good. Get you gotta get rene your renewing mist out though for sure. Always, always, always. What do we have? We have two charges of renewing mist, and we have a we have a renewing mist um right here. This renewing mist buff means it means it's ex it's extended. So I would make sure you have like a really long renewing mist here so i would renewing mist here for the chi harmony buff and then we also have a free vivify which is pretty good so that's what i do and then crackle wait yeah that's right we're playing a uh, cast right so we, we have crackle as well we should have at least one coming up and then we need to use envelop mist a little bit slightly more yeah good vivify good gotta get a renewing mist out though before you do any healing, always at bare minimum get your renewing mist out. But if you can, try to get envelop mist. Good kiting here from the disc priest. That's good. Careful, because we're kind of far from our port. Just be just be very careful. Crackle there. Good. 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 Get in range. Good. Oh, now we're too close. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Good. Good, good, good. Renewing Mist is perfect. I mean, if the rogue wants to run... And, oh, careful, careful. Yeah, versus priests. Be very careful versus priests because what they're going to do... They have so little mobility. They, they have so little mobility that for them to fear you, you either need to run into them or there needs to be some like insane like setup like this rogue like gouges you into a kidney shot and it gives time for the disc priest to get to you. So... That's fine if they do the setup, but do your best to not push up into the into any priest, shadow priest, disc priest, holy priest. 
don't push up into them because then they just get this fear for free and then maybe this rogue like this rogue could like sap you off or like can you cheap shots we trinket the fear wait did we just trinket that or did we get sanked oh we will it okay okay will is fine will's fine i think i don't know you no it's not i don't think the will's fine we the rogue isn't even opened we don't need to will this right you don't we don't need to will this at all because the rogue isn't even opened on anyone. I think the rogue still has blind. I you're probably off stun DR, so that means cheap shots, KD shots are full on you. So probably, uh, you know, I mean, still not opened. He's still not opened. I mean, that's only a three second fear when the when the rogue opens up. And now you don't have trinket for thirty, and that you're off stun DR. So what we're gonna hope for praying right now is that this rip pally sees that we're stunned and we get a bop where's the bop a bop or a sank is what we're looking for uh because we're gonna take because we're also at range your port stunned okay good all right we live that that's really good 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 but yeah be careful be very careful versus priests it's we also should not be hitting the disc priest right now it's i mean this is a tough comp for you because neither of these targets die it's going to be a tough one. It has to be the Outlaw Rogue, sadly. I don't think Dis Priest die, but we'll see. Could incap here, maybe. Incap the Priest. If we get a stun, we bubble. Interesting. Okay. Crackle's good. Again, similar to kicking, you always want to make sure you have, like, Envelope missed out on whoever's taking damage because that's 40% extra healing. So that's what I try to do. I always try to get, like, a Renewing Mist, of course. And if you can, throw an Envelope missed out. If you can't, that's fine. It does cost a lot of mana, but if you mana T before, it's fine. And cap on the rogue. Just on the rogue is good. Good. All right. Hitting the priest. Priest is kiting our ret. Yeah, the kite, uh, the, the ret's just going to get kited by the disc priest around the pillar. The pillars are too big for him, I think. I think it just has to be a rogue. And then we have port. Oh, we treated that. So this is why, one, your port should be behind the pillar here. Just behind, just put it behind the pillar, and then two, don't go too close to your to your port, but don't outrange it. If that makes sense, um, I mean, I guess you could have still maybe. I think our port's like right here. You LOS the disc priest. I don't know. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, yeah, it just comes down to just playing a little bit further away from port. You know. It would have been better if it's like behind the thing. Oh, I think he breaks his blind. It's really good. Disarm on your ret. A lot of damage from the disc priest. Crackle's good. Big damage here. I think we need to like enveloping mist like a little, just slightly more. Envelop mist is really good, especially when you have manatee. You have, you have 12 stacks of manatee right now, by the way. So. You should find times throughout the game where you can manatee. Normally, it's, you know, whenever there's some kind of downtime. So, like, where, where was the downtime versus an outlaw rogue? Let me see. Oh, I think you incapped the rogue. Yeah, incapped the rogue behind the pillar. You have eight stacks of manatee. I would just start channeling manatee. And then just th throw out an envelop mist. Uh, you know, th even if you have to thunder focus to envelop mist, that's fine. But you definitely need to envelop mist a little bit more. Because you're missing out on 40% healing. And the hot is also really good. So, try to do that just a little bit more. Hodge on the disc. Good. Try to get an in-cap off that. Pain suppression. Cloak. Good. Good. Outlaws are tough, though. PI. This is scary. Cloak. Or, uh, Crackle's good. Nice. Good envelopment. Mist. There we go. See, look at that. Yes. Good, 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 good. In-cap. Good. Careful. Sweep. So, what I would have done here well for it would have been here so that was lay from your you're right there too so right here is a hodge on the disc priest rogue has no trinket i don't think there's any stun drs as well i would have rolled in to sweep the the outlaw rogue and then in cap off the hodge that way you're extending that cc chain just a little bit um and then you're stunning obviously the kill target which is also pretty good so that's what I would have done. And then he couldn't have cloaked. But now that the priest has time to heal before we push in, we're also, it's not, it's not looking too hot for us either. 
I guess it kind of, I mean, PI kind of sucks, but we're rolling in when they're doing damage in cap on the mind games. Oh, no, barely. Careful, your guy's dying. Yep, careful. Oh, we pushed in and get feared. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about right there is pushing in the priests. They can't get fears on you. It was also a DR stun, so, you know, it was half the duration of what it should be. This one, this is a tough comp. I'm not going to lie. Your ret also didn't really sank or anything, which is also kind of annoying, but there's definitely things we could have done. Um, always try to extend CC chains. Always. Right here is a really good example of it. You know, try to, whenever you see the enemy healer in some kind of stun, always see if you're in a situation where you can in-cap off that just to make the CC chain a little bit longer. And even better is if you could sweep the the rogue. That's that's even better. Um, Positioning-wise, always, you want to kite away from your port, but not too far away, if that makes sense. That way you can port whenever you're in trouble and then port back. Disarms were good. Um, and then Manatee, obviously we have 12 stacks of Manatee. I, I think you need to envelop Mist a little bit more. Like, I, I really do. Uh, you're missing out on 40% healing. It's a really good hot. Um, if you use envelop, if you use manatee and then enveloping mist, it the mana isn't terrible. So that's what I would do. Uh, looking at this game, I think your your healing is decent. It, 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 no, it's good, but you need a little bit more from enveloping mist, especially into teams like this. That I mean, the disc priest does like what? How much how much damage is disc priest doing? Thirty four million damage. Like you just need a little bit more healing. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else, but yeah. Oh, then also will I, you know will when you have to or when you feel like you have to i i just think of uh will as like a second trinket where i want to pair it with another cooldown right because where, where, where did it happen here where was it we're like over by the middle pillar here like you want to pair it with life cocoon or revival or something like that right you don't want to just press it and then you know now you have a cc but now you're in CC, more cc right so just keep that in mind. Try to just utilize it like a trinket. Save it for Life Cocoon. Save it for Revival if you need it. Um, because it'll put your trinket on 30 second cooldown. And then, you know. And then just don't run onto Priest either. Pri priests are... No. Don't run any don't go anywhere near them. Unless they've already feared. Or you could like in-cap or like sweep and roll away really quickly. Uh, do not. <laughs> do not run into a Priest. Because then you're just giving them free fear. And I think we have one more game. Yeah, there we go. We got one more. All right, what do we got? We got uh, Rhett Mistweaver versus... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Windwalker, Resto Druid. So this one, this one's going to be fun. I think that Rhett Pallies are actually fairly decent. They have bops and stuff for the, the Windwalker. So we just need to make sure we CC the R Druid. Are we playing hybrid? Looks like we're playing hybrid. Yeah, Revival versus this would not recommend just because they have leg sweep and mighty bash so you could restore all and peace weaver like a cyclone this is fine this is actually fine i'm fine with this zen sphere I'm, I'm good with that talent build looks okay crackles a little weird i'm not gonna lie i still don't know oh wait wait we're missing a talent wait you you need to play crane style right here this is like this is the talent right here to make hybrid good Oh no, we're playing. We're oh wait, we're playing caster. Okay, I was gonna say, oh my god, I thought we were, I thought we we're missing out on on crane style. Would have been a situation there. Okay, that would have explained <laughs> why our healing's a little low. All right, let's see what we got here. Positioning again is really important. So get your port. I would put it behind a pillar. Jet, is this a goblin monk? Oh my god, I think it is. That is hilarious. Um, we're outranging our port. Uh, no, not okay. Good port. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Now port back. Good. Good. Line the clone. Perfect. Now started, Now I would maybe in-cap them. Sweep. Sweep both. Beautiful. Beautiful. We get Trigger from the Archer instantly. That's amazing. That's perfect. That's really, really good. Uh, Druid now doesn't have Trinket. So we can go for an in-cap. This is our Rep Pally damage. Uh, Conduit. Okay. Life Cocoon. Okay. It's a lot of cooldowns. That's fine. Rep Pally wall as well. In-cap. Careful of the clone here. Knockup is okay. Rop here to get him away from your rep pally. All right, get our new mist, get our envelop mist out if we can. Stun on you, cyclone. See, this is why I would play restoral, because right here you could. It's a little two for one here. You immune the cyclone, and then you also heal your rep pally, which I think is really good. And then you could actually in cap the druid off this because they don't have trinket right now. So 
that kind of sucks. Now, so now instead you have to trinket. You trinket and then revival. See, that's why Restoro. I even I started playing Restoro versus like Affliction Warlocks because Mistweavers just need to have something well stunned. It's it's just so important. All right, we're cutting away from the Windwalker. Maybe in cap. Maybe a little touch of death. All right, perfect. Here's a little trick for you. The reason why you don't need to play revival to dispel karma. One is and you could just dispel it, it's magic. You could dispel it. But two, because it's magic, you can actually diffuse magic the dot back to the windwalker. So in this situation, what I would have done, I'm not even kidding, this is what I would have done. I would have touch of death into this karma, make the dot huge, and then diffuse magic it back to the windwalker. And that's a little trick for you right there, in case you didn't know that. Yeah, you don't need to use revival to dispel it. Um, I mean, obviously, if it's on your rep pally, you could just use your normal dispel. But if it's on you, uh, that's what I try to do. I tell my team if they if someone karmas me, I literally tell my team to keep like damage them through it. Like I will, re I reverse the damage back to them, and then it, I've gotten some kills on Windwalkers <laughs> doing that. Uh, but in this situation, we um, we've incap for this druid here. This is actually a win. If we incap the druid and like Todd defuse, uh, you you win right now. Good, good. Wait, no incap. That's okay. Rep Pally swapped off the monk, which is okay because it's it's LFG and they probably don't know. Magic pop on you is actually really good. We'll take that. Good, careful. Yeah, we're just, it just feels like we're just not doing, yeah, good crackle. That's really good. It's, it, it's honestly enveloping mist. You need to envelop mist, like, just a little bit more. Nice. We had a kill. Perfect. We also had in cap. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Good. Yeah. I, enveloping mist, use it because you have six acts of manatee. Always try to find ways to just weave in the manatee and use that enveloping mist. So try to use that trick versus windwalkers. Overall, these games were not terrible at all. For the first game, and mostly positioning is really important for Mistweaver. So always move your port when you're with your team. When you're playing the hybrid build, make sure you get your renewing mist and enveloping mist out first before you kick. Always try to pair your kick with Thunder Focus C. That way you're getting as many kicks as you can. And then also remember that you could use kicks while you're silenced. So kick away usually versus death knights what i try to do is mid grip i'll try to chi g and then i'll kick and then everyone is literally fine it's it's amazing um outside of that was there anything else found try to in cap as much as you can to extend cc that goes for this one as well uh this game right here the outlaw row game just try to in cap off hodges is really important and then use your leg sweeps on dps if, if well it depends if your red pally is hodging the healer which normally they will because if you're not coordinating the pal the healer can just you know dispel the hodge so if they hodge the healer sweep the dps in cap off the hodge try to get in the habit of doing that um and then positioning again um just stay away from your port don't go too far but obviously don't go too close don't waste your will. Try to pair it with the cooldown if you need it. And then manatee as much as you can. Because you do need to envelop mist a little bit more. Like just a, just slightly more uh, for that bonus healing that you get from, from having envelop mist on somebody. But if it's fine. The mana is fine if you just use manatee before it. And then the third one. This one was good. Uh, yeah, just play Restoro. I and mean, that's pretty much it. Restoro is just... It's too good, right? Like I always think, man, I'll play Revival versus like Shadow Priest or Ellie Shaman or like affliction warlock and then i get stunned and then i have to trink it and it's like why would i why would i play revival when i could just play restoral and use it while stunned and save my trinket so we're at the point where restoral i'm playing restoral 100 percent of the time these days just because it's just something you can use while stunned um but yeah that is pretty much it if hopefully this was helpful for you if you have more gameplay send them in i'm more than happy to keep you know going over gameplay with you and that is it for me. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Anyone else that's watching, that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.